hello students so today the topic oh, we are going to discuss is small signal hybrid pi equivalent circuit of bipolar transistor hybrid pi model so i hope the notations are clear for you you see if you are uh, uh, writing in the dc values everything should be written in the capital letters right for dc you have to use capital letters for ac current and voltage terms you have to use small characters okay for combination of ac and dc this total instantaneous you have to use one will be capital the subscript will be will be a small okay this is very important to understand the further for lecture okay see i can see here what you are going to learn from this lecture is when the small signal is superimposed on the dc voltage and current that is the caution point okay so how it's going to uh, going to respond of that okay how you are going to draw the small signal analysis of your transistor with respect to the small signal parameter without constraining the dc values okay so we are going to find the we are going to draw the hybrid model for the transistor with emitter resistor and without emitter resistor before that we need to be very clear with their parameters there is a basic parameters so here the graph you can see here that is a x axis is given for vbe it is total instantaneous that is small v capital b that is a combination of ac and the dc this is a ib this is a combination of ac and dc so you can see here the ibq is your operating point so we are fixing the caution point in that your signal is swinging in the up and down okay here the graph is plotted for ib versus vbe so changes of ib with respect to changes of vbe so it gives the slope of 1 by r pi the r pi that is a small signal resistance okay with respect to the ac signal which we are going to study here okay so we can relate the small signal input base current to the input voltage by this equation right this is a basic terminology you can understand vbe equal to ib into r pi you know right see uh, when you take a model here you will be having the current of ib here you have a resistance of r pi this is i r vbe right so this is what they are relating vb equal to ib into r pi so this is a base terminal this is a emitter terminal clear so here 1 by r pi that is equal to the slope because we are plotting ib versus vb that is a current versus vb so you have a resistance of inverse 1 by r pi is nothing but a change of ib with respect to change of vb with respect to the caution point with respect to the caution point right that's what this equation determines e equal to i not exponential vb by v of t this is a uh, this is written from the basic uh, diode equation so if i can i'm going to relate with this with the ic so when i'm relate with this with the ic i can rewrite like a ic equal to is is a reverse saturation current so you know the current range vary from 20 to the power minus 12 amps to 10 to the power minus 14 amps exponential vb by v of t the vb is nothing but a junction which you are studying okay so uh, i can write see i can write like a ic equal to beta times of ib okay so how i am writing so there is a basic equation you know that is a relation between a, a current gain factor that is output current by input current so that means ib equal to ic by beta okay so from this uh, uh, we can write ib ib so this entire term what is ic ic is nothing but is exponential of vb by v of t so it gives is divided by is divided by uh, beta exponential of vb by v of t okay so here i am giving the clear picture how to find r pi okay so but in uh, during lecture i just given uh, directly how how we got the equation but here i am giving step by step to make it very clear so i am just differentiating with this equation right So once you differentiate, I d divided by d v b equal to i s by beta exponential of v b by v of t. So what you will be getting one by r pi equal to one by v t i s divided by beta exponential of v b by v of t. Okay, this whole term I can write it as i b q. 
this whole term I can write it as IBQ. So that you got a equation of 1 by R pi equal to IBQ by V of T. So this is a, how the equation coming. Right. So R pi equal to VT by IBQ. So again you know that IB is nothing but a IB is nothing but a IC by beta. So I am substituting IC by beta. So it gives beta VT divided by ICQ. So this is the reason how this R pi is written as beta VT by ICQ. Okay. So this is a small signal parameter. The R pi is a small signal parameter. So next small signal parameter is we are going to find what is the transconductance that is GM. So in order to find we can write the equation that is IC equal to the changes of IC with respect to the input voltage. Okay, with respect to the input voltage, with respect to the quotient point, I am considering the swing. I am considering the swing that is the changes of VBE. So you we know that IC equal to IS exponential of VB by V of T. From the current diode equation, I just related with the IC. So once you differentiate this equation, what you will get? 1 by VT IS exponential of VB by V of T. It gives your ICQ divided by VT. Okay, thermal voltage. Okay, so this is a procedure how we obtain the ICQ by V of T for your GM. Okay, GM is nothing but the ICQ by VT. So this everything is a small signal parameter. This everything is a small signal parameter. Okay, so now we need to find what is the common emitter current gain. How you will find by a product of R pi into GM. You know what is R pi, you know what is the GM. Just multiply this product, you just cancel it, the common terms, you will be getting a beta. So it is a very important to know the product of R pi and GM is nothing but a beta. I hope you understood. Okay, now we go, coming to the very important section. So far you studied uh, what are the parameters, small signal parameters uh, like uh, uh, we have uh, we are, we are going to use in the small signal analysis. So now what you are going to uh, do is we are going to replace your transistor. We are going to draw the small transistor, normal transistor in, in terms of small signal analysis. With respect to the small signal input we are going to replace and we are going to consider those aspect. Right, we are going to consider those aspect and we are going to draw the uh, model like a transistor. See, uh, like uh, uh, I am taking all uh, input parameters IB and uh, here IC and uh, VBE and VC. Okay, uh, either you can represent in the small parameters or uh, you can represent even in the uh, like a capital I cap small b. Okay, it's up to you for convenient but uh, usually for hybrid model, by model we will be preferring the capital I small b. That is a total instantaneous we will be preferring. Okay, if, even if you want to put IB, small i, small b, you can put, no doubt in that. Okay, there need not be confused, it's up to you or your understand. Okay, so here you can mark a base emitter collector. Okay, I am going to mark base uh, emitter collector. Okay, you see, for for any circuit, you can, you can draw the small signal analysis with respect to the concept of considering the small signal analysis okay so when you are doing the small signal analysis you need to consider some parameter okay that we will explain in the coming slides okay now in between the base and emitter okay you will be having the small signal resistance that r by what we have calculated in the previous slide that is a small signal resistance between a base and emitter okay the drop across here it will be v pi will be v pi okay that you can uh, put like this so here the IC current, the I, generally if here you will be having the load, if you consider the current of ILV will be going like this. So here you can take this output node as IC, so I have given as a CT, C notation and current is moving like this. Right, so what we can the output current IC, I can write like a GM times of VPI. See, please understand VBE or VPI both are same both are same okay you can represent in any manner okay so i can write the change of, this is a i can write like gm equal to ic by v pi okay with respect to this uh, 
node okay gm here i can write like a gm into v by also okay so capital v ce so here the current the emitter current the emitter current you know that is the sum of your base current and the collector current that is your emitter current you studied right so this is a simple way to draw the transistor in the small signal model so you have to replace you have to put r pi and you have to put a gm v pi that is ic equal to gm v pi that means gm equal to ic by v pi clear so here i am not include the early effect okay in the next aspect i will be explaining when if you include early effect how the model is going to differ the first we will be studying without the early effect so that this is the first procedure what we have learned okay now now you are going to draw the model with your uh, early effect see when you are considering the early effect when you not consider any effect what is our assumption is your output current will be independent to the changes of vce see when you draw the graph so that is ic versus vce see please observe that see your graph will be like a saturate don't point okay so here the output resistance will be infinity there, there is no more uh, like a slope here but if you take a early effect if you consider in the model what happen your the graph is going to be something like this here you have a resistance something called r not so that will come to the picture of the r not is nothing but a va by icq the va is a early voltage right early voltage when you consider you need to consider the r not suppose if you not considering r not equal to infinity so you need to put this r not in the so good so please understand i am drawing the uh, like a emitter base collector as a model i am not putting any other external element this is a internal structure for small signal analysis okay v pi r pi gm v pi r not ic here the r not is coming newly because of the consideration of the elf this is a internal base resistance which is mentioned as a rib this is a output resistance with respect to the collector terminal i hope uh, you are getting my idea right see now what are we going to do so in order to make it very clear i am going to draw the hybrid model here see when you are drawing the hybrid model so what you need to do you have to remove the dc supply you have to remove it okay you have to remove it then capacitor capacitor you can consider as a short circuit okay capacitor you can consider as a short circuit see first it will be emitter and it will be a base and it will be a collector so first draw the model emitter base and collector see here i i will remove the dc supply that means this r1 will be here and it will be here tend to be here so when see it is connecting this node that means r1 and r2 will become parallel will come to this node right so then what happen this r1 become parallel to r2 right so then in between the first we'll, what we will do we will draw the small signal part then we will come to the uh, this external uh, element that will be very simple okay so first the internal section is a r pi right so that uh, drop will be v pi v right then the collector current is i small c similarly here also you can put capital i small b here you will be having gm v pi okay so if you consider early effect r not will come to the picture so this is for this is for your transistor please understand this is for your transistor i need to put for this extra elements right this i already put it r1 and r2 so work completed so this capacitor will become short circuited this rs will come again rs will come again here then here input is vi then this rc will tend to connect in the ground right so here you will be connecting rc so here you have a v not output so this is a way to draw the small signal analysis for any model 
so please remember this two point you can go first procedure please replace this model to the small signal model then you change this uh, external element then it will be very simple so to have a more realistic i just uh, draw the model with the re that is unbypassed re element with the unbypassed capacitor if you have a bypass capacitor this r e will not consider you so we are considering see generally r is very important because this will ensure that proper stability right it, it will help to keep your portion point stable so that is the purpose of re to use in the this voltage loader biasing generally this re is acting as a feedback to the input that is series indirectly connected indirectly making impact to the base terminal this re is connecting seriously with your input okay this is a series see you can see here the voltage and feedback are both at the different point are different point so we can the we used to use this as a current series feedback okay so current series feedback that everything will be studying in the upcoming lectures okay so when you draw the model for this what you need to do again same procedure put a emitter and uh, put a base and put a collector okay what you can put is first put a r pi okay then you know that is a, a gm vp so here the current i small c capital i small b. then you include this re see this part is over now you include this re that's it so here you are having a ib here you have a current ic so this is your ie right hope you are clear now again you have to remove the dc supply so this r1 and r2 will come to the picture like this then your capacitor will become short circuit then your resistance rs will come here then va will come here right then uh, okay when you go for rc so how you will put rc so you have to remove this dc supply then uh, here rc will come here right so this is a here you will be having your output so this is a basic procedure to draw the hybrid pi model with the re resistance